Hello everyone, welcome to Comics Episode 42. <clears throat> we are here today on this lovely Saturday. I'm your host, Technique, and I'm sitting here with my co-host, Matt, aka Nighthawk Plays. What's up, man? What's up, man? Happy Saturday. Happy uh, yeah. almost Memorial Day weekend. It's another, mm -hmm. uh, another fun week. Coming off a great week last week, man, with uh, Mark Bernard in here. Awesome, yeah. amazing interview. But, uh, you know, just Saturday, sipping my coffee, hanging out with you. What's up? Yeah, man. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, uh, you know, comic news. There's comic news and then there's not comic news. Hmm. Uh, you know, so it's it's kind of coming off of a, um, I wouldn't say a high, but more of a plateau with uh, <clears throat> Multiverse of Madness. You know, it's kind of interesting because normally true fans or like big Marvel heads or like gatekeepers would normally criticize a movie a lot, but a lot of them liked um liked multiverse of madness um i'm guessing because of all the fan service they threw at you you know everybody wanted some house of m everybody wanted this that and the other and, yeah. and they kind of just threw it together and i think they did what they could um in that short limited time that they had i mean something as big as a multiverse needs to be covered across episodes which it is and i, and I, and I think a lot of people <clears throat> that complain about the movie were the non-marvel Heads. It was the it was the people that okay. were like fans of the MCU, but not comic, you know, hardcore people. Mm -hmm. Had a lot to say about multiverse and thought the story was stale and thought a lot a lot of stuff like that. But they because they don't understand the origin. So that movie was definitely a fan service movie. Uh, anytime Sam Raimi touches something, I think is that. <laughs> I, I think it's a I think it's a fan service. I mean, uh, from his Evil Dead to to his Spider Man to. All that stuff was all fan service. Um, it was not dedicated really to newcomers, honestly. Um, let's just be real. And yeah, yeah. There was the, a lot of back cataloging that you yeah. needed to know and understand kind of going into it. If I just right. brought my, you know, my wife, for instance, even though she's seen a lot of Marvel films with me and, and kind of gets things here and there, I know through that whole movie she would be asking me a million and one questions. It's mm -hmm. to a point where I'd be doing director commentary to her. Like, I can't watch it with her in the theater. And that's yeah, nothing yeah. against her. It's just <clears throat> there's a lot of stuff um, happening. And and even for us that have been through it for, for a while now, we still have to focus because we got new characters. There's a yeah. lot of lore being thrown at us. And I'm sure it, I've only seen it once. I'm sure in a second or third viewing, which I've heard, for some people, you catch on and see even more stuff now. So just mm -hmm. like every Marvel movie, right? Yeah, but, there's a lot of information to unpack. Yeah, but you know what? I I was I was having a conversation with a, a friend of mine, uh, Mern, and it was interesting. I his take it seemed like on Batman was like my take on Multiverse of Madness, and and vice versa. So for instance, I loved Batman. I gave it like a nine out of 10. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, there were certain things I could critique about it, you know, but, but, but overall, I thought it was one of the best Batman movies and, and Robert Patterson is arguably the best Batman, period. When it came to Multiverse of Madness, I, went, I came out of the theater and I was like, wow, this was a lot of fun. Like, I liked it. And then actually, funny yeah. enough, I was having a conversation. He's in chat. What's up, everybody? What's up, chat? For those of you uh, live here on podcast land, hi as well. Uh, Chain Wolf, uh, we were, you know, we were messaging each other back and forth. And I'm like, wow, you know what? This actually wasn't like a nine for me. This was like more of like a seven, you know, maybe a high yeah. eight because I don't know if it was expectations. I don't know if it was I was wanting more, but there were yeah. so many questions I had after thinking about it then that i had like i you know uh, with with batman for instance i guess he was or wasn't that big of a batman fan i mean he said it was a crap movie as a batman movie so i'm gonna take that with a grain of salt that he's actually a comic mm. book fan of throwing that oh. out there um yeah but that's interesting but as far as this movie goes i think some of the I think the one, one of the things for me that I saw a lot on the internet was like, finally, it's not a two and a half hour movie. I'm like, I wish this was a two and a half hour movie. I uh, think an extra 20. Yeah, that I, needed to be a trilogy. I think honestly. another 20 or 30 minutes would have definitely uh, helped out a, a lot yeah. of things. You know, in game infinity yeah, and wars type situation. Uh, I think this, I think, I think it all leads to expectation. Everybody, mm -hmm. I think people misread mm -hmm. the movie in the beginning. So I think that's why a lot of people's scores tanked. So 
people go, went in thinking they were going to get answers to the multiverse. That They never said that. They never said it was answers to the multiverse. I think Loki is the one that's going to give you the answers to the multiverse. Leading up to the series with Kang and all that stuff coming in, I feel like everybody was just like, oh, we're going to get we're going to get all the answers to the multiverse. Why all this stuff is happening? How is that? But in my head, I'm just like, why in the heck would you think that's going to happen in two hours? Like, that's just not going to happen. Like, you, you, you can <laughs> only do so I, much. Like, yeah, it's... This, this was an introduction to the multiverse. Like, Loki set up the introduction to the multiverse and how dangerous it could be. Oh, actually, really quick with Loki, two quick things. Number one. It was, it was announced the other day that it was the most watched Disney Plus series. Not Marvel, Disney Plus series, period. Oh, wow. And it has been confirmed, which is really interesting. The whole cast is returning. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, I wouldn't I, I mean, you're talking about TVA, you're talking about multiverse. And they recast people. That's awesome, though. But that's <laughs> awesome. Know? Sorry. Sorry, uh, I needed to bring that up because it popped I mean, that's, that's the Marvel way, though. Like, they, they typically hold on to people forever. Uh, you know, as long as... And, and until People... It's funny. It's like... Marvel doesn't quit people. People quit Marvel uh, huh. from what I've seen MCU okay. wise, you know, um, the door is always open if, if if the film is doing well, you know, I mean, look, Jessica Jones, uh, Luke Cage is coming back. They're filming stuff. Um, I saw a picture with uh, Mike Coulter and uh, I forgot her name. That plays um, uh, Chris, Jessica Kristen Jones. Ritter. Chris, yeah, that's Ritter's yeah, daughter. Yeah, yeah like Kristen that. Ritter. Yeah, yeah. So uh, they they're together and they had like I mean, they just colored over whatever all the stuff that you need to have to have clearance to get into those trailers, but uh, they're filming stuff. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't think the movie was a six out of 10, but I know, I know that's a personal opinion. I'm mm-hmm. just saying, I think the movie was an eight, a solid eight, if you went in with the right head. I, I, I understand that people go into that movie wanting more than they got, but that was everyone else playing in their own head what the movie should be like and not what they were telling us. They really wasn't telling us anything besides this is Doctor Strange 2. Yeah. It's not, it's like Captain America uh, Civil War, right? People kind of omitted the fact yeah. that it was a Captain America movie, just like they omitted this was a Doctor Strange movie. Hell, they could have called it Scarlet Witch Multiverse of Madness if they wanted to. I wasn't, I a, big, I wasn't a big fan of Civil War. We've you had know? this discussion. I wasn't a big fan of the Civil War movie. Yeah, you, 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 you had, you had the book control. is amazing. Anyway, the book is amazing. Um, I just, yeah. Anyway, I they should have called it Avengers 2.5. <laughs> what can they do? And who have an hour? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to always... But they, if, if, dude, if in game Infinity Wars was one movie in two and a half hours, that movie would not be good because yeah, yeah. it's too much to unpack. You have too many stars on, on, on screen at once. And I take all of that into consideration. You can't put that many big head stars in a movie at once and expect to get, I mean, they, I thought they did a great job giving everybody screen time. Yes. Like everybody has screen time. So, I mean, I, I thought it was great. And then on top of that, it was a freaking Captain America movie. Like you got to keep that in your, you know, yeah, so I keep trying to tell people yeah. that. I mean, there was a lot of Black Panther. He was a new introduced character. It gave a lot of him. That was his introduction to the MCU. There was a lot of him there. And you got to feel for him. You got to, like, understand his motives. And then you got the Black Panther movie, which made that even better because your expectations were already, like, level-headed. You knew who he was. You knew you were going to get some good movie and ended up from there. So I just think as an introduction, it they could have called it the House of M. They could have called it that. You see, but I, um, I don't understand that. Like, I understand, hmm. I know, okay, so I have to go back and read the House of M series. Um, the story arc, excuse me. I got the tidbits here and there from, like, um, the, the new rock stars and, and you know, Emergency Awesome that I, that I watch uh, on the interwebs and YouTube. But I thought the House of Hem was, was, yes, it was all about Billy and Tommy. Billy and Tommy? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, mm-hmm. Wicked in, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. For, I had said Billy and Tommy, and for some reason I went to Power Rangers. Like I'm saying their names wrong, but <laughs> but but <laughs> God, Billy and Power Rangers. Yeah, like, yeah but, but anyway, <laughs> worthless Ranger. <laughs> Tommy, on the other hand, um, yeah. I thought it was all about getting rid of mutants. Like, yes, there is the story arc with her grief and her children and and mm. um manipulating all those type of things but it was i don't i don't see that cor- outside of that i don't see the correlation to house of helm because it has to do with mutants and saying no more of it 
Like, House isn't that M the big, like, don't, aren't those the two big overarching stories with House uh, of M and Rock Kind of, but that, I mean, it's like the introduction to, you know, yeah, the mass, the mass. So House Goodbye. of M, <laughs> kind of, yeah, they kind of, I, I don't know, like, I don't want to spoil it because I, I have a feeling that they were going to actually introduce that once we get, like, mutants involved, or maybe that will be the introduction to mutants. But it really does start off with people telling her she's nuts so, about her kids. <laughs> <laughs> you know like which it, yeah you, okay they, you, poke, they, yeah. you poke the bear and the bear attacks and that's 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 what i mean that's typically what they did in multiverse of madness is like people keep telling her what to do and she's like i can erase everything I, i'm not bothering you i just want my kids and all the universe i promise <laughs> as long as you don't f with my kids i'm not gonna blow this shit up all right but you get in my way everybody dies except my kids, you know? So it's just, it, it was just that back and forth situation. I mean, I, I thought it was a fun movie. I, I didn't go in with high expectations. I don't think they hyped it up. They, they, Marvel does Marvel like Marvel does Marvel. You know, they do their trailers. They put the movie out. We hype it up. Yeah. <laughs> like we're the ones that were just like, bah, 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 bah. And nobody took the chance to think that it's, not one of those big scale battles because i think that's what people were expecting and we it's knew that the big bad was going to be internal we knew it wasn't going to be external but people still went out there it was a movie to do three things number one show you how powerful scarlet witch is for a reason oh that was so good number two yeah. give dr strange another movie because he deserved one <laughs> number three introduce chavez because i will go into that later and number four, set up the multiverse to show you that, hey, we're gonna have new cast members come in. They could be from anywhere. Here's the multiverse, you know? It, it's just like we're open doors. Yeah, and, and the whole thing about incursions, some people are like, how does an incursion not happen on every planet? Because every universe is different. People ain't getting that. <laughs> you know, incursions happen, it's like if you go back in time and you tell somebody something, and it changes a little something here and there. Yeah. Depending on how serious effect, yeah. the stuff that you say, depending on how serious, you know, it's going to be in the future. But the incursions would have been worse if, I don't know, Doctor Strange would have flew up high into the sky and then that planet he was on, he was like, hey, I'm alive, bitch, you know? And then it would have been weird, you know? So he didn't do that. He went straight, he was low profile, went straight to where he wanted to go to. They kept him in captivity, you know? So it's, it's that stuff, and uh, you won't know what the hell I'm talking about unless you watch the movie. So yeah, go, go, well, I, I actually so that's actually a great point. It came out May. Let's take a quick yeah. sidestep. Um, Doctor Strange Disney Plus. Give me one second because I think this was released the other day. Um, yeah, so apparently it's been leaked. For those of you that that can't get out to the theater, but you have Disney Plus, you really want to watch it. Um, you don't have to wait that long. Um, apparently a German Disney Plus page. Apparently there's a lot of it going around. Uh, saying that it's going to be released on Disney Plus on June the 22nd. So essentially right. a month from now, which is Sounds right. Which is right. It's about that 45-ish yeah. day window, give Typ or take. Typically yeah. what they do all the time. So it's not a big secret. And I love that they do that. I love that Disney Plus gets those movies ASAP. Yeah. You know, waiting on Blu-rays was a pain in the butt, bro, like back in the day. Um, Doesn't make sense uh, anymore. Who, who does Redbox? So, yeah, I thought it was great. I, I thought Sam Raimi really captured Scarlet Witch, man. That was, man, he had some freaky scenes bro like i there was a couple of scenes. i actually did you jump so when, so when we she were went to the we were teasing this last week so i the the like i knew it was coming and i still a little pee came out it was uh towards towards like the latter third yeah it was like the third act the where they're uh where oh my god notebook what's her name rachel mcadams character mm. um i forget mm. her name in the in the movie for some reason but she says, yeah, the, he created a gateway. When they go through that whole tunnel thing, right? Yeah, yeah. That yeah, whole yeah, that yeah. whole tunnel thing where he shuts down that gate. And it's uh -huh. like, it's like, you know, she's coming through. Like I thought she was gonna bust through. Oh, she's but like, she like Wee! shadow yeah. walked from the side. I literally went, oh, oh Sam Raimi, that man. Got me. He, he oh, knows jump so scares, good. bro. <laughs> I, I, I think the whole theater jumped uh, when they were in the temple and, and you saw that and then Wong was like, 
There's Water. some unspeakable monster, and that shit was like, was like, oh my oh, god, hold yeah. on. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> like, Dude, when she busted through like that gong thing, like even though it was oh, so yeah, CGI, yeah, yeah. Oh. like that was yeah, still when like, she went, oh. with the little, yeah, when she went through the water, and her bones were. Crying, I was like, bro, what is going on? And if, then, if there and, was, oh my god, if there and was, then in, in, in his mind, and she, oh, oh like, we'll, get that. we'll get into yeah, that. That was, yeah, that was really scary. I was like, wait a minute, zombie, <laughs> like you know, like if there was three things that this movie did right, and I think you'll agree with it. One, Elizabeth Olsen. One, Wanda, <laughs> like, that literally blew away all expectations that uh, she, I had for, for, she for, for what she was. She was a 10 would, yeah. out of 10 for me. Absolutely. Uh, 100%. Um, if the movie was just about her, it probably would've got a nine or a 10 for me. Uh, the same. Sam Raimi, um, it's been a while since he's done a good movie. This was a Sam, Ram a Sam Raimi film to a T, and I loved yeah. it um he had that fun. is yeah and you know he had fun in that <laughs> and and last but definitely certainly not least wong i oh, love great. how great. they how they <laughs> ended the story with, with i'm sorry how they ended the movie with him and dr strange in that one scene mm. i absolutely mm. love that it finally got to that piece but his showing how badass he is and how strong he is like that was seeing him at the beginning against uh Shumangora, or not Shimangora. It was somebody else because they couldn't use him or something like that. It was nice seeing them give him his presence and just yes. him in general. Like those were the yes. three huge things for me. I'm gonna say yes, but, but I wish they would have respected his time better. I think he deserved more screen time than a lot of the fluff that they gave the okay. other people. Okay. They didn't have to give okay. those other people as much screen time as they did. You know, they should have gave him a lot more screen time, but. In Marvel's defense, he's gonna be in like every movie coming up. <laughs> so he's getting paid at some point, but he's literally gonna make a cameo in like almost every movie coming up. Well, I mean, um, he because... was at the he was at the end credit scene of Shang Chi, right. which now I have yes. even more and questions about. <sighs> he's in another movie coming out. I can't think on top of my head, but he's in another one coming out. Oh, I think uh, I just put two. Sorry. Yeah, and... I think I just put two and two together. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Long as the multiverse exists, Wong. Oh, I think Wong is getting his own series that I read. I hope so. Like he deserves I think it, man. He is. I think he is, and it's gonna cover him traveling to different, like the the gaps in between. It could have been a leak. Fuck. Anyway, I, I think I think that's what I've I read because everybody, including myself, is like, okay, what? How is Wong doing this? Where is he? Like this mug is just. Yo, you got multiverse problems. I'm here. Come on in. You know, like, why is he collecting all these people? Uh -oh. <laughs> is he is he creating? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't know. So it's it's interesting to me how he's collecting and potentially training people. Um, he's got three so far. So I, I'm I'm very very interested in see where that where that goes. But I'm gonna tell you, man, uh, Elizabeth Olsen got a big check mark in my book. That woman can act her ass off. Uh, they better treat her right and give her the fattest paychecks. I, I think she definitely sets the pace for all the new actors coming in even though she's not new but we're going to consider her new to having the forefront because she was always a side person um and and you know and she did her job well and and i remember when there was one interview where she felt like she was just doing hand parlor tricks the whole time like she didn't feel a part of it um and but now she is <laughs> yeah and and the funny thing is is that elizabeth gives a lot of feedback to the 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 directors and the producers and everything and she actually feels like she's a part of the team which is really really great so I, I like that marvel is willing to listen to their you know their big Audience, stars yeah and, and their big and stars she's just getting bigger and bigger and uh i think and uh, again it could have been it could have been scarlet witch it could have been wanda multiverse of man it really could have been that and 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 dr strange could have been a cameo like not a cameo but the the co-star it 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 that movie should have just been called Doctor Strange and in, in, in Wanda or Doctor Strange, Strange versus Witch. Wanda. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. But not that. That's, no, that's yeah, huge. Yeah. That's a huge you know, spoiler. But it could have been Doctor Strange and Scarlet Witch or Doctor. Yeah. Or Scarlet Witch. But I know for sure we're going to get some Scarlet Witch stuff. Soon. Yeah, that's. Yeah. So that's, yeah, that's, that's what I'm that's what I'm really interested in. So uh, also, we still got to worry about um, Agatha and. Uh, I really hope they don't do this, but I feel like we're getting too much screen time in those two boys. I'm I'm pretty sure they're gonna grow up in MCU and become and and we're gonna see them. I hope not. 
is that song sucked anyway um that's that that was that's the reason why i gave them an eight uh that that took a whole point down that stupid song uh you see what i'm saying <laughs> you watched the movie i hated well, it well i mean uh, i guess i guess that's there's there, you know what i do like also about this movie is i think any idea that i had about how it was gonna end it led me to more questions that that I would I can't wait to have answered. Well, I mean I can't wait, but I wait, can't wait. The actual ending? No, no, no. The, so so the actual ending and the end credit scene. So like for instance, oh, yeah. you know, one of the things that we talked about was the Nexus being and how there's one period. Well, that kind of was answered not only in what if, but in this movie as well, where yeah. it's it's one being per universe. It's not yeah, one yeah. being throughout the multiverse, it's one being per universe, and it's not always the same. Like, obviously, mm -hmm. she had her actual kids in, in one, and she was a nice mom, and she still had the powers, um, yeah. which, which I... She was nowhere near as powerful as... But she was nowhere near as her. powerful as that. She was more of of Wanda Maximoff than was she Wanda. was the Scarlet yeah. Witch, yeah. Um, even though she was. Uh, uh, so that, that was very interesting to me, and we know the kids are in other universes, so why not this one and on top of that how are they real in the other one like who is she married to where the kids are alive it's, she's not married to vision and i'm gonna leave it at that so in the comic book she's married to of uh, someone else oh no I mean, wait Wanda no wait a second aren't the okay aren't the kids in the comic books kind of like a, a baby jesus type of scenario with mary but not baby jesus like with I'll just uh, say this. Wanda uh, uh, has oh the my power. God, what's his name? Wanda has the power to fragment reality. Uh, and I don't think Scarlet Wicked Witch in the MCU yet has fully discovered the way that she can actually really, really, really bend reality. I think she's getting there uh, with the... I mean, everybody knows. With the Illuminati scenes, I'll just mm -hmm. say that. I think she's getting there to where she can, she can like literally undo. Like she literally un can undo stuff. Um, I don't think she's gotten yeah. to the creation part yet. Um, so, yeah, but in the comic book, this isn't a spoiler because I don't right, right. necessarily know if they're going to go this route. Because I thought this movie was going to lead us in one direction for Phase Four. It's not mm -hmm. in that one mm -hmm. direction. I've been talking about that. But is isn't Wiccan and Sin fragments of not Cthulhu, but um, Dreamer? No, who's oh, who's uh, the big bad? From like the underworld, that's the devil. That's not the devil. Um, oh, uh, aren't blah, 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 blah. <sighs> Wiccan um, and Sin are created from fragments of Wiccan and Sin from Marvel are created from Wiccan and Speed. Wiccan and Speed, oh. not yeah, not Sin. Speed. Yeah. Hawk, focus up. <laughs> um. Oh my God! It's they. They come from. Scarlet Witch children explain WandaVision. No. I, what are the big bads? Is it I, Dreamer? I like no, not Dreamer. They, they were reincarnated souls or some shit like that. Like, they're, they're reincarnated souls of like fragments, because you said fragments before, of a bad mm -hmm. guy. Like you're kind of like the hol not holocroms. What was Voldemort? Like the the the, the hibiscus? Not hibiscus. But I'm losing my goddamn mind this morning, the dude. Hibiscus. The homunculus. <laughs> I'm losing my goddamn mind. Uh, oh, in the comics. Wiccan is a comic. Yeah. Man, why am I having so much issues with this? Uh, magical abilities, Iron Lad. Oh my God. Does anyone in chat know this or am I losing my goddamn mind right now? I, it's It's been a long time since I read that book, but I, I know for sure that they're reincarnated souls. Um, they find out that Magneto's their grandfather. I'm gonna be big ass quotes on this. Um, there is even something really weird about Wanda. Um, she's not normal. Everyone, I mean, she's mutant. Big ass quotations. I'm I'm doing quotations because the stories do change. Um, because Magneto ends up not really being her father. Um and I know speed is technically Quicksilver. Yeah. Um and we know Wiccan is, you know, yeah, they take after Wanda in, in Quicksilver. Um, 
It's been a while since I've been there. Oh, man. Mephesto. That's what it is. Mephesto. Oh, yeah. It Mephesto. Is Mephesto. Sorry. Yeah. I was thinking, I was thinking of a different we, name we for saw, some reason. Yeah. We saw, he's going to be. Thank he's you, sir. mentioned in MCU. Yeah. A couple times. Oh, so I, I was trying to remember. Uh, yeah, I, for some in, reason, uh, Loki and everything. For else. some reason, I was going to like a, like something dream wise or something like that, and and it was literally right in front of me. It was from Mephesto. So thank you, thank mm-hmm, you. Mm-hmm. But okay, so where where are we going with this? <laughs> uh, you, oh, man. you were saying about her, them having kids or having kids oh, in a different reality? Well, yeah, whatnot. it's like how how did they become? A thing in these other realities where they're not in this reality like are they going the Mephisto route are they going a different route because I know very much it looked like uh in the dark hold it was Cthu or Cthul however you pronounce it was in the dark hold via uh, uh WandaVision uh because of the the tentacles and everything up top um I mean obviously now at the at the end credit scene uh we got a lot of stuff going on there with uh with a certain someone coming through yeah yeah but <laughs> But, but I, I yeah, think I guess I think that is leading us off to put Doctor Strange in his own thing coming up because you got to think he's every movie he's been in besides his first one he's been it's been like co-star 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 you know so so I think he's really gonna put him in the forefront because let's just be real he was just the biggest part of this movie as Elizabeth was so yeah I'm I'm you know I, I think we're coming up that relationship between that person and him is a real thing in the comics um all we'll, we'll do a spoiler episode of this uh like well, one reason why we're doing like a 2.0 of non-spoilers yeah. just to get your mind thinking while you watch the movie because a lot of people like the ratings are up and down all over the place you yeah. know and it's not like it's just a, a straight line um but once we reveal what we're talking about there it, it to me it was like wow but i understood it Go into the movie knowing about Doctor Strange 1, what if, all the stuff that Doctor Strange's been through, and now. And then you would feel a little bit better about it. But if you just go in being like, oh, th- these are things that happened right after, you know, Spider-Man, and then there was nothing in between Doctor Strange 1, Spider-Man, and there's a whole lot in between, because you have to understand that all the movies and shows, whether it not shows the stars or not, is taking place. So, um... There, there was a lot. And then the end of the movie felt like they were just force feeding you food at this point and you weren't hungry anymore. Like you were just like, all right, I'm good. I, 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 you know, it was, it was just like that. Um, because there's a lot to unwrap in the first, the last five minutes of the damn movie plus the end credits. You're just like, yeah, you can't just do that. You know, like, the, but that's Marvel. They, they do that and they'll explain it later. They just went wrapped it up in there. Yeah. Yeah, so they're like, "Hey guys, we're out of budget. We're gonna just throw this or, shit down their throat and well, make them hunger for more." And I mean, or the next, it up. or the next ten years, because you know they went on that retreat, planning out the next ten years for Marvel after uh, Cinecon, CinemaCon, or whatever mm. that was, which was awesome to hear. Um, man, God, I got so many questions. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's I a guess, lot, and I guess they can't just throw away Scarlet Witch like this because no, no, they can't. She is really important <laughs> for marvel and the mutant side of marvel like she is extremely important so i'm very interested i would say she's just as important as xavier right maybe even more i mean maybe even more than uh what's her face um phoenix and and you know gene gray yeah uh, gene gray i think yeah because the stuff that wanda puts in motion and the way she collaborates with Magneto is wild to me. <laughs> like, uh, you know, creating the League of Evil Mutants and like, you know, the House of M and then the new Avengers and then like Doctor Strange versus Wanda. And I had to use the eye of Agamotto on her and, and how she was like, oh, you think this is going to hold me? Blah, blah. <laughs> like, there's a whole bunch of stuff um, going on. And I think what they need to do is really exaggerate and push her powers so people know that all oh, the stuff that you got loved for the past 10 12 years that ain't shit compared to what is going to happen you know um but that leads us a good segue into what's coming up and i told you marvel doesn't release anything around marketing unless we're about to get something in the mcu because that's how they make their money so let's go into the big elephant in the room 
Marvel announced a brand new video game. It's called Marvel Snap or something of that nature. Yes. And it's called it's it's known as the fastest card battle game. Yeah, they're uh, that's what they're claiming. And they had no gameplay <laughs> shown. It was like a spit of it. They showed like cards flash from screen. I, I think yeah. it's gonna be great. It's gonna be on mobile and PC, by the way. It's gonna be story yeah. pushed and it's gonna introduce some new characters that are gonna be in the MCU. American Chavez is one of the number one people shown. Yes, she's Ironheart. Like, yep. Which though, which Ironheart leads the New Avengers in the comic books early on. Kabbalah Khan takes that role over, and let me tell you, the New Avengers is a whole lot of LGBTQA plus. So prepare yourselves. If you don't like it, tough doo doo. And guess what you're gonna get? It's gonna be a whole lot of them. And uh, which is going to be great because these are young folk, right? Coming yeah. in, all the, all the people are young. Uh, there's multiple relationships. This is the downfall of the new Avengers in the comic books. There's too much relationships going on. Like everybody's, everybody's loving everybody. <laughs> like, it's just wild. Everybody loving everybody. It's like Kamala Khan and Miles Morales and then Ironheart and uh, forgot the other chick. Not She-Hulk. But somebody else, I don't know, they, they get together and it's like everybody getting together with everybody and they're losing focus and they, they never were. Yeah, Nick Fury is losing his mind because he can't control these teenagers. Like, it, it, it's going to be great. I, I don't hope, I hope they don't go that route in the movies because there's going to be a bunch of like estrogen and hormones and testosterone being flown everywhere. Uh, but I think the introduction of these characters is going a long way. Now, the funny thing is we got a Venom. And now the reason that, why yeah. I say that this is going to be the introduction is because we do have a little symbiote running around in our MCU. Uh, yeah, we do. Yes, we so, do. So, uh, yeah. And who Take, else did they show that was pretty prevalent in there as well? Oh, internet. Uh, She-Hulk. Um, oh, Do uh, Doctor Doom. So I hate being that person that breaks down everything and predicts the future. But I'm telling you, my superpowers prognition. I got it. It's in my head somewhere. This is this is gonna lead us to the new characters getting introduced in MCU. I promise you. It, 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 this is how Marvel works. Um, it, I'm it, looking it, at the. It's it's leading. It's also it's leading to something that you've brought up before because of what the Russo brothers said. Like at this point, yeah. I have no doubt in my mind that. The, the use of certain words, the use of incursion in the film is going to yep. lead us to that, which will lead us into oh, something yeah. else, which I have no idea how they're going to pull that something else off, but I am all for it. Yeah. I am if all we get a different it. Earth, it is, now's the time to do it. Now's oh, the time that's to focus actually, on the Earth other that's than actually, 616. Well, that's actually one cool thing I was going to say. They finally... Like we got a little confirmation in Loki, which we talked about, but... And, uh, but actually, but, before but, that, but, but certain... Spider-Man. Yes, but a certain somebody in the film officially put it out there very prominently that our MCU is Earth 616. Yeah. Which was well, really they, nice. They said it in, I'm just going to tell you, in Doctor Strange, they literally say that our people are from 616. And the, if you don't remember, it's when he was Strange? in the cube. Yeah, it's when he was in the cube. He was talking to, mm -mm -mm, and she was like, yeah, I know all about universes. You're from Earth, six, prime, uh, you're from Earth 616. Like she literally told him that. In the first Doctor Strange movie? No, the second. No, the one that just came out. Oh, no, yeah. Th th there was two people that specifically said it. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just saying. Yeah, confirmation, yeah, yeah, confirmation, yeah, yeah, confirmation. Yeah. Okay, check marks. Yeah. <laughs> check mark, uh, you have to check mark, you have to check mark, yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Oh, also, Miles Morales, in his new suit, got introduced in multi... I mean, I'm, excuse me, in this, in this, in this game, which they're... They are apparently casting Miles Morales. So I'm just saying, like, <laughs> if you want to know what, what to expect in MCU when they had they already had that big meeting where they already decided the next 10 years of Marvel, games, Fire. man. Those are your answers. All the games are your answers because I got confirmation, I'm not going to say from who because I won't get anybody in trouble, that when Crystal Dynamics, which we'll talk about, they got yeah. the boot. Uh, they got bought. I don't know what the hell to think about that. Um, but... When they had sat down, sit down meetings with Marvel Avengers, they talked to Marvel and everything's on a timeline and they can't release anything. So people getting mad at, I, I feel so bad for Avengers. People getting super mad about Avengers not putting out like roadmaps and it's, it's not their call, it's Marvel's call. You don't upset the, the, the daddy Marvel, you just don't. Disney, the mouse will come down from the platform and boot you, man. Or Overlord so, Mouse, yeah. Yeah, it, that's the real Sith, we all know. But so it's, it's, 
yeah all your all your leaks that you want to know are in the video games i promise you i'm not making this up i've been there i've been in closed door stuff I, everyone gets together has meetings and these games are made to market early on to get you excited about characters you don't know about to then be introduced in the mcu for you to get excited about and then you spend money that's what they do and they targeting kids young adults adults whatever anybody that plays these games are going to want these characters um and it's it's huge you know we're in a day and age where we have brown black white purple green literally all right <laughs> Uh, coming in, the, coming in the picture and talking about green. We got, we got She-Hulk. Yeah. Um, CNN posted that she's the first woman of color. I, you know, I really hope that was photoshopped. CNN, please, like, <laughs> they were like, MCU is finally introducing their first woman of color. That's I funny. hope that I'm was sorry, photoshopped, that's bro. Funny. That's funny. Because first really of all, funny. the actress is definitely not. No, <laughs> definitely she is white. not. <laughs> Secondly, green doesn't make you a person. I mean, I guess if you want to say the green, and even if she was a person of color being green, uh, bitch, <laughs> I'm going to say Grimora has been existing. All right. Like, and she is a woman of color. Yeah. Anyway, I, I just can't with you. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of bad right now. Uh oh, I think we have internet. Hiccup, yeah, hiccup. we're apparently. Yeah, it's 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 it's. Is it storming up there? Because it's storming here. No, wow, it's ninety right something there. degrees right now. So uh, I think it's just all like has to do with uh, sun spotting and things like that, most likely. Oh, so I came. My uh, my internet saying hello and not so hello right, here and we there. We back. We back. All right. Uh, as I was saying, uh, yeah, She Hulk. Uh, yeah, they had some. They I don't know, man. They maybe they had something to drink too much. I that was weird. Uh, I'm just gonna chalk it up to that was photoshopped and then went viral. Um, because I don't. Did you see the trailer it, at all or no? Yeah, I saw the trailer. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, um, oh, you're talking about the. Okay, yeah, that's why it's photoshopped. Yeah. Okay. She Hulk. Uh, I'm excited about She Hulk. Uh, I have really weird fantasies about She Hulk. I want to so say. A lot I of people a have a kink at the end of the uh, at the I, end well, of that trailer. I like She Hulk because she's so different from Bruce Banner. That's why I yeah. like her. She's not the same everyone wants a raged out person but she's just not that she's very she she takes things very she loves her green form i mean she she gets it you know <laughs> like she knows early on she's not like hulk dumb hulk smash she's not that and and i and i think that's really really good um a lot of people are really pissed off about the size of her but i had to break people down and be like look this is based on the early 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 uh, adaptations of she hulk which and you she could wasn't tell a she's, big muscle bound person. And you could tell she's also early in her, her life. Yeah, she's stage, year one, her she career old. or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Year one. I mean, five months in months in, we get to see the creation of it uh, in the movie. So she's not going to be, I'm pretty sure over time, her muscles will develop. I mean, she is not the same as the Hulk. She doesn't go through that whole process like he went through. So people got to understand it's different, but everyone's just like, I want roided out like big muscles, you know, boob pecs. And I'm just like, look, you guys, there are different variations. The first like character art of She-Hulk was not big at all. Like she was model fit. Like, and I mean by models, like the athletic models, you know, the ones that do the the dancing that we got like nice legs and nice arms, like very cut. They're not just muscle bound freak out, you know? Um, yeah. <clears throat> we all got mommy issues these days. I mean, yeah. she can still step on you and kill you. I mean, I, if that's what you want. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I yeah. and knew was there. I kind of went in on the trailer a little bit after watching mm -hmm. it because it was, I got hit with the, I got hit really bad with the uncounty Valley. Like it was, especially mm -hmm. putting it next to the Hulk and then real people. She was in yeah. that middle, and she was so noticeably off. Green? But not green, but it was just, like, when I looked at it first, it looked like proportions were off. The CGI wasn't complete. But, there that, was that, no, but, but, then, yeah. but then I had to realize two things. One, who knows mm -hmm. when this was done? The VFX is mm -hmm. not complete. We're still three months out. Mm -hmm. And then you mm -hmm. can't necessarily compare it to the Hulk because the Hulk, they've had a model for him for how many years now? So, so it's like they're working this from the ground up and it's not a completely fully CGI like creation. There's very hum humanistic human elements still to her. It's just certain things are blown up and expanded and not expanded. So like the more I think about it and the more I look at it, the more I'm, I'm like, okay, 
we're gonna get there. Like, I think we're gonna get there because some yeah, scenes look I, good. I, like when she's <clears> like <throat> when when she busts out of the cage, not the cage. Like where Hulk's like, "Good job, no, 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 no," and she busts out the door. Like that actually wasn't bad. And, no, there, there's some there's some good. Yeah. There. But I would like to remind you about Black Panther. Remember Black Panther car scene? They showed that and we were like, what the hell is this? Remember the Black Panther poster? Remember the poster? It was just his head pasted on. So these these are things that Marvel does and they know they do it. But this, I feel, prevents major leaks. People, they they release these things early to prevent those leaks, man. If they wait until they get all the things like 100%, Look at what happened. Yeah, look at what happened with Spider Man. Look at what happened with Doctor yeah. Strange. And it was started yeah. to happen with with this as well. Like how there yeah. was like rumors about like there being behind the scenes stuff going on and delays. Yeah. So they're like, all right, nope, here you go. So yeah, so it's like you know, I, people got to take it with a grain of salt. It's not the final movie. Um, my 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 whole thing is if Sonic can bounce back, any movie can bounce back. Simply, I mean, that. And, even and, if and they Marvel's, destructed it and rebuilt it. I mean, in Marvel's notorious for last minute or right after edits. Look at the end scene of WandaVision. It was out one day, and then a couple of days later, they had to change it up. That's why everyone's saying, like, there's a ghost, it's Doctor Strange. They're they're still fixing it. It's, they're, they're, I I think they're just on such a tight schedule right now that it's, it's rough. Not rough. I mean, yeah, who's who's ever doing it? C-Chain, me and you right here, man. Except with that that rating you gave uh, Doctor Strange 2, but me and you right here on that. (laughs) <laughs> so war, some war slaps when you, you sometimes you got to watch a movie multiple times and take it all in and then like look at the small bits and how they really put it well together um but some 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 actors owned it more than others but i mean i thought some wars were great um but anyway uh past that she hulk whatever it's going to be a episodic thing it's not gonna be in the movie theaters disney plus hasn't let us down yet i want to say when it comes to marvel stuff nah, um definitely not I'm not a huge fan of Moon Knight because it's not gripping me like I want it to. Did you finish it yet? That's because the character doesn't grip me. I, 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 just, I never was a huge Moon Knight fan. You know, I thought the character was cool, but I'd rather have Batman over Moon Knight because that internal struggle is annoying to me. I get annoyed with his, with Steven. I, I get so annoyed with him. I'm just like, bro, just let him take over. You, you, you whack. Did you finish um, it but- yet though? No, I have not because I'm yeah, struggling. Get, but get, I will get, get, get through to, it. Get to the end. You'll. I do like dude, that last episode, man. I'm just telling you. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I got. I, I got hit. I, I got kind hit. of spoiled myself by accident um, by scrolling down Twitter and I saw Scarab. Um, but whatever. Uh, nope. But I did like the Steven suit. You know, I love what they did with it. Yes. It looks great. It's in Fortnite. I got it. I bought it. Um, you know, Zero bills. Yeah, no build. Yeah, it's Fortnite. No build. I've been going ham in that. But uh, but yeah, I, I, I like it. I like it. I think MCU is doing well. I think Disney Plus is doing well overall. I think they they started it right. They started the plus the plus thing. Um, you know, we have Paramount Plus. We have all these other pluses coming out. There's a new plus coming oh, out. I'm sorry. I just realized this. This is actually something we need to talk about. Mm-hmm. So, episode wise, what 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 is the consistent Disney Plus Marvel series episode? list it's usually how many episodes what? sorry how many episodes Six. with the exception of wandavision right yeah. that was nine and what if <clears throat> mm-hmm. she hulk is actually nine episodes mm. and they're saying this is an exact quote this is from cnet is it because she's a new character or? uh da, 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 da. the series will consist of hefty of a hefty nine episodes though each is slated to run only about 30 minutes. Marvel's chief Kevin Feige has reportedly ah. described the series as a half hour long legal comedy. Interesting that it's it put in sense. that fashion. But mm-hmm. I'm it actually, I like that more than 6, 40, 45 eh, minutes. I like minutes. the 45. I like the 45. I think but 45 I, is solid. I like the three extra episodes though. I don't I know. Mean, like, it's the same thing. I, I guess if you add the up the, the numbers, it's, it's plus or minus. Yeah, it, r- it roughly falls in the same thing. I like the 45 minutes because if they screw up and put too much fluff in the episode, I don't feel like I wasted my time. I, like, Hawkeye to me was... I, that blew my mind. Like, the Hawkeye, episode, honestly, yeah. I don't think he got the respect it deserved. I yeah. think that shit blew my mind. Because I was like, I was into every episode. I was there every day. I was really excited. Like, everybody did such a great job. And um, it just, I don't know, man. I, I was just like, man, I hope Jeremy comes back. I didn't feel like that. Oh God, when Jeremy's gonna leave? You know, I didn't feel that. I was like, dude, when is he coming back? 
Like, yes. holy crap, did he own his role in that? You know, so I mean, not not you know, of course, like Florence Pugh and um, Haley Seinfeld. I mean, they. Oh my god, this, the on screen chemistry was just. Ah, uh, it's so hard to get like one actor or actress to like have chemistry with like all the leading people. Like it's just it's wild to me. Um, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Hoping that She Hulk does well. I'm pretty sure it will. Like I don't. I, when I was watching the trailer, I wasn't like, oh my god, oh, why? I wasn't like that. I was just like, okay, this looks interesting. It doesn't look finished, but we'll see. Like that, that, that was me. I wasn't mad at anything, but people were raging. Uh, there was an actual quote uh, by one of the lead artists that said, we wanted to make her bigger, but they kept telling us to downscale her for the trailer. Hmm. So I wonder what she's going to look like in the in the final like how different is she looking I'm now sure compared she's gonna to look just like the comic book version which she's a little bit bigger but she's extremely muscular like very cut you know she was never there was there was i think there was like two or three comics where she was like hulked out like just grotesque but i would like to remind you about the hulk's power she hulk's powers she can pump herself up so she's not like the Hulk where she just comes out roided and she's like can barely move her arms oh, or her neck. Oh, she's right? like she's like she the, can like yeah like oh, like the she, angrier she, she her, gets the bigger yeah, like yeah, the yeah, old yeah, school yeah. Hulk like the right, angrier you right, got the right, bigger right. you got okay yeah that's, that's actually her. cool if they do that that's what she does I mean that's what she does in New Avengers you know um, and also there's the young Hulk the the the, the boy uh, the young boy I forgot his name um, but anyway that's what she's supposed to do she's supposed to be like. You know, because um, there was something in the comic book where somebody was like, who is this? A, a, a cosplayer or something when they said to her and she just got mad and you could just see her muscles just starting to define itself. And they were like, oh, um. and uh, you can see the shadow growing because she got a little bit taller. And so it was, it was dope. So, yeah, I think that's Actually, what it's supposed to do. There was two scenes in that trailer that that were hit right away that were really cool. You mm. did get the I'm busting out of my shoes and I'm throwing that guy over me like I was being attacked from behind and now I'm hulking yeah, yeah, out yeah. and I threw that guy over me, which was really cool to see. Yeah. And also there was that she's in a courtroom like going falcon punch on somebody. Like even though it was a brief like I was like, that's cool. I was like, yeah, okay, yeah. this is this is We're gonna get I'm some good moments, this. dude. Yeah. And she's because... a group, she's a phenomenal actress. Oh too. my god, have you seen she's her show? So... Like her her where she plays um, like nine different people? Or, uh, um it's on the BBC. Or um, like Sistra. So good. Oh god, what she's is it called? So good. It's something with what an O, like you Orphan or something like that. What's what's her name? Uh, BBC by the way. Orphan. First of all, I think she's I think she's gorgeous. Like I, I love that actress so much. Orphan Black. She... Orphan Black yes. is the series. Dude, and everybody Tatiana... you gotta watch like Orphan Black. Tatiana, yeah, Tatiana. Maslani. Masani. Masani? Masani. I'm just gonna say Tatiana. Let me yeah, just Tatiana. tell you, man. <laughs> she can act her ass off, dude. She plays <laughs> God, like six different people in that in Orphan Black. I only watched, I think, season one and maybe a little so bit of season two. So many two. different, know. yeah. But it's she crazy. can change her accent. She can speak differently. Man, she is she's it, man. I think she's gonna be another like one of the next big MCU stars, like hands down. Um, so I'm she's so happy they got her because I think she's great. She Hulk. I didn't never. She never entered my mind for casting. So um, I'm glad she went out. I don't know if she was called or she auditioned. Whatever. Good job, Tatiana. You, you're, you're fantastic. Um, Orphan Black is great, by the way. If you want, if you just want a sneak peek of about how well of an actress she is, and I'm telling you, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be bored with that that show. That show is. It, there's a lot of stuff going bonkers. on and it is it is it is yeah. very bonkers it's um there's a lot also, of a lot of bbc shows are like that i i really like the shows that are on bbc but yeah i'm glad you said shows um so i'm just saying man <laughs> gotta be careful about throwing it around a lot of people are not from the uk so they they just they you know how people automatically think i mean people are listening out here they're just gonna be like drinking their coffee like wait a minute what did he say what did he say? just say what the British broadcasting, British uh, broadcasting, yeah, British sometimes broadcasting. Sometimes you gotta read the BBC, whole thing British before you abbreviate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta be careful. Uh, Son of a. <laughs> ah, man. Uh, there was something I was gonna say. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I kind of forgot. Uh, shoot, it's on the edge of my. Uh, Orphan Black, Tatiana, is she she went out for it or didn't go out for no, it? No, 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 um, no. It was something. It was something. Anyway, I'll remember it if I remember it. Um, Moving on. So, Hulk trailer looks good. Uh, other than that, we got some comic book news coming out. Oh, uh, there's some interesting, like, I said, I'm looking at the notes about Carnage, but there's some interesting Carnage 
books out. I've seen him in like armor. They like doing medieval carnage. I've seen like devil carnage. I've seen all kinds of stuff with carnage. Carnage is getting in everybody's blood, man. And carnage is carnage is not using protection. He going everywhere, bro. He's seeping in everybody's pores. Uh, I I'm a, I'm a little over carnage. I, I don't know about you all. I, I feel like they the big one of the biggest flaws that Marvel has is that they will milk a character till there is until they are a raisin. All right, like poor like Carnage got introduced for like five seconds in a movie. Jesus. All right, and then they just freaking was like, we make it everything, comics, toys, you name it, blah blah blah. Ba-da-ba-da-ba-ba. Same thing with Venom, man. They just they just milk them a little too much. Only person that get milked is Spider Man because there's like fifty thousand different Spider Man. You can you can do whatever you want with that. But anyway, um, Daredevil has a new movie, uh, a comic book out in Shang Chi. Oh. I remember what I was going to say. I know we keep bringing it up, but if you if you are finding yourself a little disappointed in Multiverse of Madness and you don't feel like you got what you wanted out of that, um, anything and everything all uh, here at once or <laughs> probably slotted oh, back to this. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That, that is a very good Multiverse movie. Um, I still need to watch it. everywhere, all at once. Sorry. Yes. Um, that whole cast deserves awards across the board um because that movie from what i've been seeing i've seen a lot of trailers i've pretty much seen the movie through trailers fantastic i mean just the oh man i i can't i can't get over it i can't wait till it comes out to where i can watch it in my own home because i don't i don't want to be in a theater for something like that something that i know is going to be like amazing i just want to sit down and watch it in my own i don't want billy and bob and then Susie next to me with their no mask having ass like coughing and yelling and screaming don't want that. Like Doctor Strange 2 was almost ruined for both of us because of that. Uh, so I'm going to have to watch that again on Disney Plus, And I'm probably going to enjoy it even more because um, I'm really going to pay attention to Scarlet Witch because that's she she be she's seeping in my favorite um, um, area um, as of actors rating wise uh, right now, like based off of who we have now, I think Elizabeth is number one for me. Uh, I don't I mean, and, that, and that's over Tom Holland. And I think he did a fantastic job. Anyway. Really? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, so yeah. so so you want to talk about some news that that's been breaking essentially since since we went live this morning. So mm-hmm. uh, Spider-Man 4 receives another promising update from Sony Pictures chairman Tom Rothman. Uh, this was a little while ago. He says, uh, asked specifically by the trade whether director John Watts and star Tom Holland and Zendaya will return in the fourth chapter the exclusive seems optimistic. The executive exclusive executive seems optimistic that they will be back. The whole group, we hope. Uh, then there are movies I would call adjunct to the Spider-Man u- universe. Rothman added, "That's Craven, which we're shooting now. Blah, Madam Web, uh, which we're starting in the spring, and S. J. Clark, which S. J. Clark is directing, uh, as well as other Marvel standalone films. Um, and then there's another Ooh. specific line in here saying that." We hope to get working on the next Spider-Man movie soon. So this goes yeah, back to what you're Marvel's saying. N- negotiations are gonna have to happen. Well, and, and Tom Holland, that goes back to like we hope <laughs> yeah. everyone comes back. We want everyone back. Then freaking get them you, contracted. Tom Holland, Tom Holland is filming himself, and he has his real agent Zendaya. <laughs> yeah, who's yeah. calling the shots because she knows what the hell to do. She knows how to get money, man. She, if Tom Holland is smart, he throws the money in their face. But like, look. I'm not doing crap without Marvel because you guys don't know how to make movies. <laughs> I'm not about to be Morpheus stuff here, all right? I'm not about to be Leto'd, okay? Because that movie was a whole, oh my God, it was a mistake. Did you see like, it? They might as well just erase that from their, their archives, man. Like, you can't go into the worst movie in history? Bro, wow. You, I mean, worse than Dragon Ball? You can't. Anyway. Uh, I mean, <laughs> did you, did you see it or no? No. Okay, I'm, I didn't have I'm to see it, bro. Sure. I, the trailers, the trailers got me hyped, and then I saw a trailer too, and I was like, "Oh, this, that's all they got." Like I literally said that because it was literally the same thing. So bad. The only different scene was when he put his hand in the cave. I was like, "Hey, I'm done." That ah, shit is whack. Yeah, I don't, I don't need it. I don't need it, man. Uh, all I have to say is, uh, they better do Tom Holland right. I think he's the best Spider-Man they've had. Uh, I know all the Tobey Maguire haters are going to be out there, but let me tell you, you're just hating because of nostalgia. I mean, if you go back and watch those movies. <laughs> um, and I mean, we probably say the same thing about uh, Spider-Man. I went back and watched the most CGI Spider-Man they had, and that was uh, far, far From Home. 
and you know the one with uh, uh, uh Jake. Mysterio and yeah Jake Gyllenhaal yep yeah and it looks great <laughs> it looks really good and the fact that they explain that it was you know and that was a with, with the CGI with the drones and shit the drones look, film yeah yeah those drones look freaking amazing and I saw the behinds of scenes behind the scenes of uh No Way Home. Let me tell you, man, Tom Holland's out there doing them stunts. I, I literally saw the whole sequence on the bridge, so like awesome. the whole thing. I got lucky and had knew a person. And the stuff that Tom, you would not believe that that, that was a, he, That's most of awesome. that wasn't CGI of him jumping around flipping. That was him. He was wearing a gray suit. He was mo capped, wearing a gray suit because, I mean, obviously the iron suit is, is CGI. Yeah, there's certain things you could do with the suit. And yeah. they have these. It looked like a um, uh, Ninja Warrior course. <laughs> and they cool. rebuilt. They built the whole bridge. They had all the cars there and everything. And he's literally flipping, jumping off, like not slamming into like and, and then doing flips. That's him, like 100. percent And I was like, what? And most of the some of the most of those scenes of him, the running part was not wired either. He was just bouncing off of trampolines left and right doing flips. So I was just like, he is, man, he is. How are they going to get rid of him? Like, they, they there's can't. no way Toby Maguire can't do that. I don't think Andrew Garfield can do that. No, Andrew Garfield can do a backflip. I saw it, but it's like, like Tom Holland out here parkour. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying, parkour, so parkour. they better treat him right, man. They better give him what he deserves. I think Madam uh, Webb is the way they're going to introduce the Sony universe and the Marvel universe kind of colliding. And I just, I just, I mean, she fits in perfectly right now. She does with with what's actress, happening in does. Multiverse of Madness. My yeah. only, my, I mean, it's just once again, it's a Sony film. Um, I don't know how far and how deep Marvel's going to be in it. Hopefully, based yeah. on Morbius, once again, you think they would understand that they need each other to make this work, but they're probably not. Um, they need to just sell them damn breaks, man, and just take a billion dollars. Well, there is two just... things I got to make sure I, I want to talk about before the end of this. Sorry, I just want to before I forget. But, but yeah, um, so but the, the 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 thing that I'm getting out of Madam Web, and you may be able to tell me, like we get the the show from when we were growing up, the cartoon. Which, by the way, that one thing I did get goosebumps. If you know what I mean. -na 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 -na. The theme, what? the theme in the movie, oh, I did get excellent? goosebumps. I mean, that was pure fan service, but I was all for it. Um, when was this? What are you talking in, about? Okay, sorry. In Multiverse of Madness, the fan yeah. service that they did with a certain character with the theme you hear oh, when they had to, I was all yeah, yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, 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 I got goosebumps. Yeah. But, um, how did you feel about uh, the number four? I felt pretty good. So, so we, you were. You were very worried about them doing certain things with characters, doing too much fan service, like bringing back mm -hmm. Hugh Jackman, mm -hmm. bringing in Tom mm -hmm. Cruise and everything. I think how they did the Illuminati with what characters and, and how they acted and how they were presented, I was actually really cool for it. My, Bro, only, hope, whole, my, yeah. my only hope with it is certain characters, I hope we don't see the last of them. Because oh, no, no, because no, 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 I no, no, now no. I now there's can't no see way that. would do that. I now can't see that specifically one person recast. Like I cannot see oh, that one no. person recast. There, there's but, a couple of them. Yeah, no, but, they're definitely not but, doing it. But as much as you want to say, they may have not done enough with them in it. I have loved what they did because it showed Wanda going. Like I'm done no. with you. Like I'm. It's, 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 oh. it's great because Whoa, I the, loved the, the, how they were like, we can we can deal with your little witch. I was like, do you have kids, dude? That whole back and forth, those two lines back and forth, bro. I was like, oh, this is it. She's done. Oh, She's and that, it dude, that no. fight scene, that oh. fight scene between Ooh. 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 that was that so shit? Oh, yes. like, that's so Sam Raimi. It was so old school. Like just the whole blood oh, on the face, so like standing good. there. Oh. Bro, he put so okay. I'm just put it to you like this. I'm gonna. This is no spoiler. I'm just gonna say he put so much Evil Dead in this movie is ridiculous. Oh yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. Oh my dude. When he, I mean, that whole thing. Yeah. That was the, a cool. The we, scene where she's standing there, where she's like, like this, and she's looking down, and she got the blood, you know, the, oh, the classic so blood across the face. I was like, so good. Did? That's a hundred percent Evil Dead. <laughs> it's not rated dude, R. No, it could have been a rated R film, by the way. That one hundred percent. Dude, oh the, 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 anyway, the we keep going back to we keep going that, back to the We will have our spoiler dude, episode soon. Sorry. How that wasn't R, to be honest, that whole dude, just the one 
that just, one scene. Just yeah. the one. What I'll say the scene with the clouds was wild to me. No, I'll just say dude, that. the mouth scene got me. Like how it wasn't rated R because of that. Mm. Mm. Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, that was wild. That was wild. I forgot about that. <laughs> That's some wild shit. Um, you yeah. know what I did? Uh, you know what the one thing I did like, and I like how Marvel keeps on doing this, and I cannot wait for when it happens. They gave us a little tidbit, almost like a fan service in 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 uh, Endgame with the female Avengers lineup. They're now giving more and more and more to the female superheroes oh yeah or yeah, even yeah. Very, female very, very, bad guys very woman power those going on right now. those two mm. absolutely outside of wanda outside of wanda and american chavez the two people that fought i i didn't realize one had it in them but she stole it for me as well as the i, I was like it's so hard Ooh. not to talk about it but yeah. the jetpack wielding person i didn't expect them to go that ham with that and the jetpack wielding person jackpack wielding um the opposite of a sword in, in multiverse yeah in the shield the you talking about the illuminati yes she went like they actually did a lot with her i was i was actually kind of oh you're talking about oh you're talking about yeah, like i didn't realize blue? she had it in her you're talking about the color blue uh no not um how do we talk about this the that's two, why i'm doing code names okay so um um i could do it all day okay there's i could do, the this, color all, blue, I could do there's this all day i could do so this I'll all day this. Oh, oh yeah like she was yeah I was, that I was, was kind of i don't know see, man. i like she, that though i she like needs to that. Put that shield up bro don't ever throw that shield again yeah. that one. <laughs> <laughs> you'll get we'll talk okay so i think next week <laughs> I Next, was like, oh, yeah, you can do it bro. all day. Oh, shit. You can't do it all day? Hi, Jane. Dude, you can do it all day? Well, now you can do it twice, apparently. Oh, but yeah, anyway. I'm going to say that, that scene, yeah, the, the, what, that hour of movie? No, I'm going to say that 30 minutes of movie, that shit was, whoa, whoa. It was so good. I was like, yeah, there was, I'm going to tell you right now, if you have low scores, I know we keep going back to this damn movie. If you have low, store, low scores of Doctor Strange 2 Multiverse of Madness, Go in there, which you already seen it. Go in there with a clear mind and watch the, just watch every scene for what it is. Because there was some good movie in this movie. Like, yeah. I, I was just like, oh shit. There were some times where I was silent and that's hard. Uh, so I was just like, it's funny Whoa. now, like the way we're talking about this, it's, yeah, it's not yeah. a seven. Like, it's like, I guess it's just like that See, go it, back and when forth. You, it's yeah. Right. When you, when you start to get like different, like views on it and people are like, oh yeah, I didn't see that. Oh, that makes sense. Then you, yeah, the, the reviews start to go up. And, and I think that's what people need to do is anybody reviewing movies, like Rotten Tomatoes or, or people that type on Twitter who's doing their own little reviews, watch the movie more than once and, or kind of relive what happens in those movies so you can actually write the review. Because if you write a review fresh out of the movie theater, you're just gonna shit all over it because you're not yeah. gonna remember everything all at once. And um, that's how it is. But anyway, we'll have our spoiler episode, um, uh, let's say next week. We'll do our well, spoiler episode. That's plenty of time for you to see the movie. Next week is Memorial uh, Day weekend. We gotta actually, oh, okay. uh, so well, I don't whatever, know. Whatever, I don't, whatever I don't week know, that yeah. we're back. Well, actually, uh, we'll do that, spoiler, so week after next or whatever. For the, the, those of you that are here, actually, that's actually a great, somewhat of a segue. So next week is Memorial Day. Then yeah. we have the fourth, which assuming we would have an episode for that one. And the then fourth, the, yes. And then the 11th yes. is GCX, 11th and 12th. Yeah. So yeah. you're going to get some oh, more God. information on that because we have a, we have an episode, we have a panel digitally. So be on the lookout we'll for dead. that information. <laughs> Yeah, apparently I'll you're be gonna be a busy York. man that week. Yeah, I'll be in New York. Yo, wait from, a second. Wait, when? Uh, the seventh till the tenth. So you're here Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Gotcha. Well, leaving on Friday, right. and then. Are you booked back yeah. to back? I know we're like talking about this now or anything. I was like, yeah, shit, I'll, man. Yeah, I'm like, I'll, I want to see you. Let's figure something be, out, I mean, man. I mean, if you can come, if you can come in the city. Yeah. Oh yeah, that'd be work. Well, yeah, we'll, but, we'll uh, talk. But yeah. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. I'm not gonna disclose where I'm gonna no, be. Oh, yeah, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. NDA. Yeah, but yeah, it's gonna be. It's 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 it, 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 me excited for coming. I mean, I know a lot of actors out there are really butthurt because the only thing they feel like they're getting any success is to be in a comic book movie, and it's true. 
And that's because <clears throat> I chalk it up to the world being such a, a cesspool of a poop that people just want to get away from the yeah. real life events. You know, that's why there's not a lot of movies about, we, we used to have a movie every year about a president getting hunted down by assassins. <laughs> that shit ain't being shown. <laughs> it's totally not the right time for that. Oh uh, my you God. Know, like, you, you, you know, uh, we had like a lot of military movies, totally not a good time for that either. Yeah. Or like mass genocide movies, definitely not. So it's like those, a safe way to kind of give you a little bit of everything is hell multiverse of madness had all that it had genocide <laughs> it had someone being hunted it, it literally had everything but it's a more comic book turn on it so um hang in there you know i mean they're literally giving what people want um you don't see many disney movies being made either like pixar and none of that stuff you don't really see that i think um the next disney pixar movie i don't even think it's disney or pixar i think it might be pixar it's coming out it's like despicable me something he's yeah. like a little child or something you get the prequel of where before he becomes the the villain you know um also uh chip and dale rescue rangers that movie is actually made for adults apparently <laughs> so i want to go see it i want to watch it uh, i watched some reviews on that and i heard it was really good um uh, it was funny because we were talking about spill.com uh the other week and yes. I, brought, I brought them up and stuff. And funny enough, I stumbled. For some reason, I'm following. It's called Double uh, Toasted, I believe. Yeah, you sent it to me here. Yeah. It's called... Nope, not Final Vision. I think it's called Double Toasted, or I could be wrong. Um, yes, it's called Double Toasted on Twitch. Yep. Okay. Yeah, and the funny, we were like, damn, what happened to Spill.com? And it dissolved in 2013. Well, they're on Twitch, <laughs> apparently, and it's called Double Toasted. And uh, you notice it right away when you go in and hear Corey's voice. I was voice like, wait man, a minute, is that yep. the voice from Spill? And everybody was like, yep, welcome. And I was That's like, so wow, cool. this is a real coinky dink. And I was trying to figure out why I was, I think they even like rated and hosted me one day, and I had no idea. Uh, so I'm big fans of them. They're circle hilarious. I can, I can literally, yeah, it's a big circle. Watch. Uh, go check them out, man. They do movie reviews across the board, not only like uh, comic stuff that we do. Uh, speaking of which, we're going to be getting into more comic book reviews. Um, we're working on something right now. We're going on something big with comicology, and hopefully things go through. And if it does, we'll be doing some really cool stuff for you guys. Uh, we're going to have like read-alongs and stuff, kind of like a comic book club type yeah. thing. Um, and hopefully uh, we it. can get like a Discord up or something where you guys can join, and we can like you know post comic books that we're going to be reading there and. Uh, We'll read them together and we'll go over them. You know, we'll be like, yo, this comic book is pretty great. This is the reason why I liked it, the reason why I didn't like it. Um, and if we really, really, really like a comic book, then we'll probably reach out to uh, the writer or the artist and get them on the show. So cool stuff, man. Um, so cross your fingers. If things can work with comicology, we can, we can really make some magic happen. Other than that, uh, yeah, there's not much else going on in the comic book world, <clears throat> honestly um there yeah it's just a little it's, it's not dry there's plenty of new comics coming out it's just nothing monumental that like you have to break your shelves to get other than adora in the distance so make sure you go get that god that's so um, good i just finished it it is <laughs> it is such a good yeah read for anybody that has kids it's a good read if you don't have kids it's it's still an amazing yeah. read yeah. um it's just because of how it's like very, it's very comic booky, but it's also very different at the same time because of how, especially now knowing how and what and how it's all based on and having a great conversation with Mark uh, last week. So regardless, go check it out if you have Amazon, uh, you know, if you have Prime, go check it out on Kindle. Uh, just, just go, just go. It's so good. So, or pick up the, yeah. the, 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 you know, just Google it and pick up the, the uh, physical, you know, paperback hardcover yeah. thinking whatever well, the hell Amazon Prime and all that yeah. stuff yeah whatever physical you can always get get it I oh speaking of which <clears throat> um I had a really bad day last week and I just cut my stream I normally never do that I just cut my stream off and um I went on a walk and then I drove to a bookstore we, we have like a bookstall bookstore here and it's not Barnes and Noble and because that closed all that stuff which I'm really sad about but man this bookstore has so many damn books I picked up some manga, I picked up some books, you know, uh, go out and uh, support your local bookstores and your local comic book shops because yeah, we can get everything digital, but I'm gonna just be real with you. It felt good physically buying something in a store that was a book or something, you know, and sitting down and like laying on the couch and just physically holding it in my hand. Um, there is a market for that and people out there, they work hard for those things. So they get a lot more money off of physical than they do digital. So 
you don't have to pay X amount of people for digital, uh, you know, for, for a hard copy that they have to do for digital. So definitely go out and try to support your local comic book shops, your local bookstores. Bookstores are now comic book shops for some of us. Yeah. Um, definitely go out and do it because if those go away, man, even if you have kids, you won't be able to show your kids like what you did. And, you know, it's, I don't know. I just feel like we're just starting to erase everything that are certain things that just mean something. It's like going out and buying toys, you know? We don't tell our kids to go, you know, I don't have a kids, but I'm pretty sure you wouldn't tell your kid if they want to build a Lego, go do it on a website. Like, how lame is that? Like, you know? <laughs> so uh, definitely go support your locals. And if you can pick up a door of the distance locally, if it's a physical copy there, pick that shit up, man. It cost you like probably 10 bucks it, or no. I mean, comic books when I used to buy them was like nine ninety nine, but you know, it depends on the book. Um, sometimes it can be five ninety nine, six ninety nine, whatever. But it's chump change for you. You can spend that on a disgusting McDonald's burger and get diarrhea later. So you might as well put it on something you'll enjoy. I think it's like uh, um, it's either thirteen or fourteen bucks, which still isn't yeah bad at well, all. That's probably yeah. like it's more pages than your standard comic. Oh, it's so, a lot more pages than a standard. I mean, yeah. a standard yeah. comic now is like novels. seven pages or something like that. Yeah, a graphic novel. Yeah, with all the advertising with all the advertising stuff, making it fifteen. Yeah, and in backstory that always takes away from the main. Uh, but yeah, you you know, graphic novels. Go into that. I bought, man, let me tell you, I spent $196 on like four volumes and, uh, and, and a four, you know, two four volume series. <clears throat> I bought solo leveling because Paul was, he just won't shut up about it. So I went ahead and bought it. <laughs> and it's good. It's good. It's a manga. Nice. But it's really good. I got through book one within 15 minutes. Oh, <laughs> that was so good. Uh, so I, I got, I'm, I slowed down. I got three more volumes to read. It's a four volume series. It's $20 a volume. It's deep. Um, but it's good. And um, it helps me out uh, when it comes to certain things. And then I bought Thorn, Roses of Thorn, Thorns of Roses, Roses of Thorns. I don't know what it is, but it is a book series. It's kind of like Game of Thrones y type thing. I don't know. Uh, but I bought that for, for, uh, mochi or winter as you guys know and um yeah hopefully she reads it if not then i'll read it myself but other than that that's all i got i don't have nothing else because i think we're just gonna bounce back to multiverse madness i'm trying not to do it but i think you'll realize that that movie is way better than what you thought it was as a recap um uh marvel snap is gonna be coming out so like, actually they're gonna be dropping that pretty soon yeah i think they got a beta um, or something uh coming out relatively soon based on what they said yeah Oh, uh, you got multiverse. You got DCs, or excuse oh, me, yeah. Warner Brothers. Let me talk about that real yeah. quick. I've been playing the hell out of multiverses, um, and they got DC characters in it. It was all Wonder Brother characters, which yeah. I was just like, man, I don't know how big that roster could be. Absolutely huge, mungus. I mean, they could do all DC characters if they really wanted to. Um, I was just talking with well, I call him my little bro. He's not my my brother, brother, but I mean, we knew each other so long. We might as well be. Um, <clears throat> and we we're big platform fighters. We play a lot of Smash. And man, multiverse feels good. The net code is flawless. That's I mean, if awesome. you're a Smash Brothers Ultimate fan, that net code sucks. Like, absolute trash can. Um, but net code in this is glorious and it's, it's cross platform. So PlayStation, Xbox, PC can all play together. And, and you it's can old enable and new or gen disable too. it. And it's old yeah. and new gen too. So if you have PlayStation yeah, 4, because you can't get a, get a PlayStation 5, it's right. still 100% compatible, which is nice. Yep. And it's fast. We only ran into two lag cases of people, but that's probably because they're using Wi-Fi. Um, but but even I'm pretty sure most people use Wi-Fi on their PlayStation. Not me. I plug everything up. But still, uh, those people you can tell lag here and there. But it's not like Smash Bros. where you're literally frozen <laughs> on the screen oh, and then it unfreezes. God. It doesn't do that. Um, if the netcode is trying to like reestablish link, it does it pretty fast. Like it, they 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 have a gem on their hands. Um, it's a cross between Brawlhalla and Smash Bros. Ultimate. Is very very good. It's oh, easy to pick up. I can't believe Batman. I mean, every character in that roster feels good, and I don't know how they did it. Um, the first person I was like, "Oh, this is gonna be my main is Batman," because the combo for days. And then I got I unlocked Superman last night. You'd like to hear? And holy crap, <laughs> I feel like it's unfair. Is it um, only just is like it, I feel like he is a comic book? Uh, is but, it uh, only yeah. PVP or is there PVE? Oh, uh, it's all PVP. Okay. It's, the gear is is uh, the game is geared towards two v twos. That's their big their big selling point is and Smash has two v twos. They don't feel good because you also hit your opponents. I mean, hit your teammates and your opponents. So it's like friendly fire. But this game doesn't have friendly fire. But you can use skills on your teammates to pull them out of danger. So if they're oh, getting knocked off the cool. stage, I can Wonder Woman grab a lasso and yank them back. 
It's really, really cool. Or if you see me about the end combat, you can drop your character in between if you're the opponent and get pulled towards me and do combat. Like it's, it's very, very, people saying that Smash is more in depth, but I think there's a lot of depth to be had at this game. It's just that the, the Smashers haven't like data mined, broke it down yet, like they always do. Um, and once they start finding different texts and stuff that, that necessarily that the creators didn't put in the game you know, to begin with, but we found a way to use it. Um, that's what happened with Melee, with Wave Dash and all that stuff. Then the game will be, it'll change, it'll, it'll evolve. Uh, it's free to play. Oh, it will be free to play for, for, for everyone. Um, they have a battle pass. It's a very fair one. They have a premium version and a free version. So if you don't want to spend any money, you don't have to. It just takes you a little bit longer to unlock stuff. Um, all the characters are fairly easy to unlock. <clears throat> they have in-game gold. So you don't have to pay a dime. Like you, you just, nice. it's, it's like Fortnite. It's just like Fortnite, man. You, you don't have to pay money unless you want to get the extra experience and the extra stuff, but you don't have to. Um, all the character models look great. The voices are good. Batman, it took me a while to get used to, but it is one of the Batmen from the animated series doing a voice. Um, I just don't remember which one. <clears throat> uh, yeah, pretty damn good. I, no, uh, those, yeah, I, yeah, those are those actually. So Superman and Batman are from the original Batman series. So that is Kevin Conroy's Batman. And Superman mm -hmm. is, I forget his name, but he's a famous actor. Uh, but as, yeah. that is the OG Superman as well that we've, mm -hmm. excuse me, that we've grown up with, which is they really cool. Aya Stark is in it. Yep. Um, and Mays Williams got to do the voice and she's flipping out about it. I just love, I love her heart, man. She, she's, she's one of my favorites that, that grew up on, you know, in TV and, and just became between her and Millie Bobby Brown, I think her name is. Yeah. 11. Those two have like grown up into their own unique person, which is really cool. Um, another thing that's really cool that I want you to notice if you play the game is that everyone has lines with each other. That is really rare. Oh, that's cool. It typically is like Batman and Superman would talk, but no, like Batman and 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 Aya Stark or Arya Stark, excuse me, says lines together. I think one of his lines was like, "You ever think that?" Um, having vengeance is the wrong thing yeah me neither that's what batman says because both of them are about vengeance you know Calist. and it's, i just thought that was that was freaking amazing you know I, or, or like shaggy super shaggy's in it uh that we've been begging to have in any saying goku shaggy uh, yeah yeah and 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 uh, uh batman and superman, superman was like shaggy what are you gonna do with all that power you know like it's very superman-y about it and batman was just like oh, I'm gonna have to do something about you, Shaggy. You're getting too powerful. You know, you just say so. And and these are just really cool. And they have these conversations as the battle goes on or at the end credit scenes and it's very friendly. And I don't know. Hey, check it out. I can go on and on about the game. I think Multiverses is great. Uh, they have a partner system. I don't know how they choose people about that, but uh, hopefully I get invited. But if not, so play it. So yeah, other than that, um, Matt, what you doing lately, man? What, 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 what people have looked forward to, to your streams? Yeah, uh, as far as this week's go, it's pretty uh, it's pretty interesting. I'm going to be playing some multiverse. Um, I didn't have a chance to get it yet. I do have the code, uh, so I'm going to actually start that mm. up on Monday. We'll see how uh, mm. we'll see how that goes because I'm going to be playing solo with that. So that should be uh, I, interesting. Done, I did team it for up a whole with day. Me. Oh, okay. Should so then, fun. yeah, it should be good then. All right, perfect. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing that. I've been really enjoying Fortnite again. The zero, the no build, excuse me. So I'm going to be playing that. Also, the vampire game. I'm I'm really enjoying on. You saw the update. Yeah, the so I love I love um, it's duos is so sweaty. It's like it's impossible with the well, they're changing. Uh, the the biggest problem I have with that game, not to cut you off, is the fucking shotguns. The shotguns are like, and melee. They're too much. Shotguns too and much. melee. A melee I can deal with because I know how to like use my abilities yep. and get away from melee. If you use your abilities at the right time, you can mess a melee person up. Um, pretty the the dual swords is probably the hardest thing to get away from. Um, okay. Just because they can literally track you, um, but they they are fixing that. But the shotguns need to be repurposed. They they already did the despawn thing on shotguns, so they have fifty percent uh, less spawn rate on shot on each shotgun. God, um, they are tuning them right now because people like what well, people just go enforcer and and the hardened shell reload line up the shot and kill you like one shot. It, it's just really bad. So that's what people that's what they're doing. But anyway, I didn't mean to cut you off. But that that that's a good plus for the game they're listening what yeah I thought they did and then obviously it's memorial day weekend so uh yeah. actually saturday is my birthday so oh, i'm birthday saturday then. thank you on friday i'm just 
going ham. I'm just gonna have like a birthday celebration, playing video yeah, games, man. do a sub do a fucking like get me get me the partner status celebration, dude. I go ham, like literally just opening up word. Pokemon cards. It's gonna be uh, yeah. it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited. So it's Great, gonna be a fun man. week. It's gonna be a fun week. Hopefully the weather's getting nicer. You know, gonna mm. spend some time with the the family over the weekend. So, but outside that, it's uh it's gonna be a fun week on stream and hopefully off stream as well. What about you? Oh, wait a second. Huh? Friday, Saturday, I think Sunday, but at least Friday and Saturday, Chad, don't forget, you have the first time in two years, Celebration, Star Wars Celebration. We got Obi-Wan oh, Kenobi yeah. coming out on Friday, the first two episodes. Right. We're going to get a lot of information about what's happening God, with, with everything Disney Plus um, show-wise and probably a lot of stuff video game-wise. Like There's already leaks about the next Last Jedi game, so... Um, I'm sure when we come back on the 4th, there's going to be a lot of stuff for us to talk about, at least Star Wars related. Um, probably going to get a lot of cast announcements, show announcements, trailers and whatnot. So don't forget Friday. Take a look at that. It's going to be a, it should be a fun, uh, it should be hopefully a fun experience because this is going to be like the first in person, like big convention event that's like mm. happening. I mean, you know, we don't essentially have E3 anymore. I mean, we got GCX, so smile for that in a couple of weeks, but that's kind of big thing. And then we get into Summer Games Fest, which is going to be insane. Yeah. Like we already got Xbox Game Showcase and, and so much other things. Yeah. Jeff Keegley's running the show. Just buy E3. <laughs> yeah, he should. He should. Um, uh, yeah, that was a really weird statement about like Star Wars or Lucasfilm saying they're not going to hire any more actors to play older actors. It's just weird shit. I think she's starting know. to step that back. I think she's starting to take, okay. take a step back. Let me tell that. you, man, that statement was not bold, not good. Uh, <laughs> that really turned a lot of heads, and people were like, excuse me? Do we give you a little bit of room saying that you're doing well? You're just going to blow off and say that stupid junk? I'm like, bro. Nope. Okay. Yeah, that's just, anyway. Like, what the hell's wrong with it? Um, I, am actually, I am actually happy about them saying that the trilogy that rain johnson was supposed to do is like suspended or like i'm yeah, gonna yeah. say it's not happening um I, I think she's right that the star wars right now at least is episodic and disney plus now it doesn't mean they're yep. not going to do like a like it'd be actually interesting to see if they do like a, a, a exclusive movie to disney plus Mo maybe movies need to be for ginormous but, reveals yeah. that are built up over time is they, they need to learn their lesson yeah i don't think um, we're gonna hear anything movie wise at all because Kevin Feige's thing I don't think is anywhere near started. Maybe Takai what what Tati what Titi's maybe I don't know. But anyway, uh oh we are getting yeah. a new Thor trailer on Monday night. An actual physical like real yeah. trailer. So sorry I'm, I keep I'm trying going to go back to forth. I'm trying to figure out if Chris Hemsworth is actually enjoying himself or not. Because every tour he's on he just looks like he's just had it man. He's just kind of there kind of existing. I mean he's doing a lot of stuff. I mean he had did yeah. that and then he did Right after that, he was the reason why he was so big for Thor was because he was doing the Hulk Hogan biop, which is yeah. he's got to be massive for that. So yeah, yeah, he's got to be tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's just. I think he just wants to spend time with his family. I don't know. I mean, it's funny, Mister Doctor Strange himself said so he's taking a break. So yeah. we'll anyway. see. What about yeah, you? What's yeah, on What's yeah. on tap for you this week? Uh, man, I don't know, man. It's. <laughs> There's games out, but like I have my moods now because I'm 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 coming off of MMOs because you know I mean there's no future there apparently, and Lost Ark had a really big really big patch, and I was like all right I'll play for a day you know and see see what I feel not a day but I played for a few hours and like I went on and they have this thing called honing where you upgrade your your gear and I had two weeks worth of materials built up and I failed every last one and I was like yeah I'm kind of done. Now, you know, so I kind of like just logged off Oof. at that point. So it's very demoralizing how they're how they're treating the the NA market. And um, FOMO is going to kill MMOs. It's like the fear of missing out. It's just what about you know, New World? Aren't... I saw you playing that the other day. Yeah, so New World has three v three arenas, and it's great. <clears throat> um, I had a lot of fun with that. I think Range is going to own that. I hope they got to kind of make a little bit of changes here and there, but we had a lot of fun. It was a promo event. Um, me, Tali, and Kat Conti got uh, to go against the devs, and the, the first game, we just absolutely destroyed them, and then we decided to <laughs> we oh, decided to switch up stuff because I, I was playing a very unfair build, and Kat was healing, and she's a she's a really god-tier healer, and it, they just couldn't hold on. So we we didn't want... we People were like, kill them! Crush kill them! them. You know, people were just like wanting blood, and they were like, show them how broken this build is, and I was like, yeah... 
first i went in there man i i, I one shot at a guy like instantly he was dead before i even had the combo off i was like what the hell this build is broken like it and um i was like i'm, I'm getting off this ain't fair man and then the chat was like no blood for the blood god so i was like okay and they ended up then the devs ended up winning it was like two two and then they won the last one because cat got off of healer and she started like mixing up her builds and doing whatever she wanted to and they would never approach us and they had two ranged and we we're just throwing like aoe's on the ground constantly and you know eventually your health care but anyway we had a lot of fun um other than that uh new world's got some problems and the biggest problem for new world is they need to stop giving so many damn server transfers because all it is doing is killing the, the game because um i was on a very popping server people left and now the server is nothing you know and 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 they'll have to do merges you know have to merge and merge and merge they need to just go ahead and start developing that technology where they can do a mega server and just call it a day you know this is all they need to do is spend more money on that um oh wow okay yeah yeah i've been playing a lot of i've been getting into a lot of vampire masquerade stuff because the lore i mean blood what is it blood hunt has got me very very interested in the lore because it's a very complex lore lore system behind on, it because yeah. it's an older ttrpg i think it came from the 80s if i'm not mistaken somebody told me um and i haven't done a ttrpg so i decided to get swan song which is the ttrpg digital cinematic game where it's like a detective it's like kind of like detroit become human okay and you know like that kind of, it's like a cinematic cinematic game uh like pretty much uh something you watch and play choices matter there's roles involved it, if you're a fan of the ttrpg you love it um you get to learn about the different houses and like stuff that's going on inside this whole political thing that's going on between just inside the vampires, you know, uh, people are the very least part of the, everyone is trying to kill everybody and all this crap is really, it's really interesting. Um, so I went ahead and downloaded vampire the masquerade cause I never played that. Um, I don't know when I'm going to dive into that, but I just downloaded it. Apparently you got to get a patch cause the game is old. Um, so other than that, I'm, I'm kind of experimenting right now. Honestly, uh, some days I have great days. Some days I have bad days. Um, Outriders, I've, I've been getting back so into that. that slowly because they have a, a new expansion. End of June, it's a little while from now, but um, it's a good time to get back in and dabble in it. Um, Fortnite, no build, offline mostly. Uh, trying to, people still don't accept the fact that I play, I, I like Fortnite because they, they just think about the building. They don't, they don't understand that no build is a completely different shooter, game. Shooter, yeah, now it's just a shooter. Um, I probably spent, mm, Two hundred dollars on Fortnite, yeah. Because they excuse me, uh, Mister uh, Technique. We have a fraud alert here. Did you just spend two hundred dollars on on f yeah. f Fortnite? Fortnite, yeah, I know. Uh, right? About that, <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it wasn't all at once. It was like you know spread out, yeah. but still. I mean, it's That's me funny. hating Fortnite to liking it, and I like the skins. I like. I mean, they they do a good job. Yeah, hey, uh, man. That's Fortnite. that's Disney. Uh, the new Disney. Uh, was it Infinity? Yeah, Fortnite. Yeah. Fortnite is the multiverse. It's it's insane. Yeah, they, it really anytime is. Anytime they get a brand, I mean, they have full rights to Marvel. They, yeah, didn't they just get Obi Wan or something like that in it too? Like the Ewan McGregor yeah. Obi Wan. Yeah, they'll have Star Wars. They'll have everything. They have everything. Wild RP. Uh, I haven't announced anything about Wild RP yet. Um, I will say this for those that want me to come back to Wild RP. Wild RP is like it's like GTA RP, but for Red Dead Redemption. Um, Ooh, I have been begged by very convincing people to come back and I have created a character. I'm not telling you what the character is, whose name is, or when I'm coming on, but I will be dabbing into that. I'm not gonna get obsessed and addicted like some people I know, because <laughs> uh, that can ruin your sleep schedule and I don't need that. But other than that, that's, as you heard, I'm all over the freaking place with my stream. If you just wanna come in and be entertained, it's come it's in. Got it. um, I'm, I'm in the discovery mode right now. Bigger news is that I am starting my own. Well, not starting. I am starting to actually get into the production of my own universe, um, which will be comic, manga and anime related. Nice. Um, so that construction is being done. All the promo art and stuff is, is, is getting ready to get laid out. I think I'm starting doing it next weekend. Um, so when you see like Good banners luck, and stuff start to change, you'll start seeing it. Nice, yeah, man. Dope. Good luck. Thanks. Other than that, that's it. That's me. I, I can you can follow me on twitch.tv slash technique. And there's no you know you just Q. Uh Twitter is Technique TV, which is the best thing to follow me on because Twitter, you know everything that's happening. Technique with the no you know e just a Q and a He's TV. Got the check me. mark. You know it's him. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely me. Um not I wish I could just get regular technique, but that guy won't give it up. 
Um, Reach. Yeah, that's it. So glad to have you all here. Thank you so very much for joining us. Matt, you got anything else to say? Or... No, that's it. That's uh, going to be a wrap for episode 42. We'll two. see you yeah. in uh, two weeks on the 4th. We'll have fun at GCX. Once again, I know we've been teasing this the past couple episodes. we got a lot of awesome stuff coming down the pipe uh, that I know you're going to be excited for to, to check out. So be on the lookout for that. But uh, outside of that, I'm going to go stuff my face with lunch because I am feeling it right now. And um, yeah, that's going to be it, man. All right, guys. Well, thank you so very much for joining us once again. I appreciate the, the, the energy in the chat and uh, podcast people. As you know, all you listening out there, we love you very much. You make up the huge chunk of our uh our listeners and viewers. So thank you very, very much for that. If you have any comments, concerns, or anything that you want to add or share to be on the next episode of comics, please go to our Twitter at twitter.com slash the comics show, C O M M I X show, the comic show and post follow the channel, please. I mean, follow the channel, follow the Twitter. Uh, that's very, very important because when we make our big announcement, best way to find us is through that. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. Yes. All right, go there. All right, boys and girls, have a fantastic weekend. Have a fantastic Memorial Day. We'll see you in two weeks. Enjoy Obi-Wan, and uh, we'll see you on the other side. Bye. See you later on comics. Peace.